Hello from the Zucas Copy TV studio in Geneva. We are talking about judgment, criticism. How is it actually diminishing our potential with Kami Lavanchi from Transforming Lives. Kami, welcome to the studio. Thanks for having me back. So we have to make important decisions every day. This includes judging what is good, what is bad. Mm. But why should judging be actually harmful, harmful for our lives? Mm. This is a, a very powerful question. And my response would be judgment is not only harmful, it's actually dangerous for us. Uh, when we're making a judgment, what it means is, well, I guess there's two ways to look at this. We're in a fast paced world. We're on all the time. Everything's going for us. We need to give quick responses like this. When we're in this mode, it's what I would call autopilot. We don't necessarily make responses. We have action reaction. So we have a reaction to something. It's not a well thought out responsible decision. It's a reaction where sometimes we're reacting and making a judgment in a particular situation that's not necessarily the correct reaction if you want. For example, you know, somebody may have been on the way to work and, and perhaps witnessed a very tragic accident, let's say. So by the time they got there, they were a little bit emotional. Maybe somebody passed them, they had something to say. And the person that crossed them was like, oh, you know, made a judgment about their action, their reaction. You never know what the other person's story is. Do you know? So if we're making a judgment it's, it's dangerous for us because we create these stories inside of our head based on our judgments. And then when we actually get to speak to the person, if that happens, we realize that something else was going on. We have a different perspective and we go, oh dear, mm -hmm. you know, and then can we respond with, a, with more perception, with a different perspective? Mm -hmm. So it's important to also know about the context in this way. Absolutely. And if we talk about our own potential, mm -hmm. how is judging diminishing our potential? <laughs> this is a struggle for everybody, for so many people. And a lot of people won't like to admit it for themselves, but the truth is we're perfectionisms or perfectionists, and we want perfection all the time. In this way, that's a judgment against ourselves, right? Oh, I can't do this because I'm not doing it perfectly, or I'm not gonna be able to do that perfectly in the way that I would like to, so I can't do that. This is a huge judgment for ourselves. Um, we also judge ourselves in, oh my gosh, so, so many ways. This is, um, it's a real challenge for most people because this is holding us back all the time based on our own inner chatter, our own inner criticism, our own inner judgment. It doesn't allow us to take risks. It doesn't allow us to be, to, to just go through the fear and take a risk and, and actually see that everything was okay in the end. Like I did it. Do you understand what I mean? What is the main reason for being judgmental? Is it fear? Uh, that's almost a loaded question. If you think about society, if you think about the belief systems that we grow up with, for example, we have what our parents believe, we have what our external family believes, and then we have society. So we kind of have a conditioning. So we're, we're brought up as a child with certain conditioning, which gives us prejudgment, if you want. So then as we grow up and we get to our later stages, adolescence to adults, what we do is we actually create life based on those judgments, based on those different beliefs. And this is what causes us, perhaps, you know, we received a message or a judgment saying we weren't good enough or you can't do that or let your brother do it, he's stronger. These are very small, subtle messages. However, when they're consistent and continuous, we believe them and then we take them on. We live them. So how should we treat ourselves or our children when it comes to judgments? Mm. For me, the best advice that I could give to anybody is authenticity. And authenticity means being honest with yourself, being real, being present. Open the door for different perspectives. You know, um, if you think back so many years ago when people were separated because of color, What's the purpose? We, you know, you can see in teenagers these days, this is not an issue for them, but yet some parents or grandparents, it's still an issue for them. And they may be talking about it as being an issue. Whereas a child might be coming in saying, why are you talking to me about this? You know, this isn't an issue anymore. So be authentic, have a broader view, discuss about it, get more information. 
Mm -hmm. Last question, Kami. How about dealing with positive judgments or mm -hmm. like overburdening praise? Yeah, this is also a very good question. And again, any sort of judgment is a projection. Okay, so over, um, excuse me, over praising somebody, for example, that could be somebody else's own insecurity about not being able to receive, not being able to receive positive feedback, not being able to receive, hey, that shirt really looks nice on you today. Oh, this old thing. Do you know what I'm saying? Not being able to take in a compliment. So what they may do is they may shower other people with compliments. And sometimes the person on the receiving end, I can say in my own experience, I've had this experience, it is uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable to constantly be showered with this when you can really feel that it's not authentic. So again, the authenticity comes up, the word authenticity, being present, being uh, truthful with yourself and with the person in front of you, taking a breath, allowing yourself to be there so that you can really speak from the heart and not just from reaction if you want. Does that make sense? This makes sense. Thank you very much, Camille Avanchi, for this uh, thoughts on positive thinking. Thanks so much. And thanks for watching. Do make sure to keep clicking back on the Dukas Copy TV website for latest updates and exclusive interviews. Have a great day and see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.